first 1500 meter of the season. What you feeling? Good, <laughs> good. Uh, it feels good to win. Uh, I mean, it's a start, you know, I have to start somewhere. I feel like two weeks ago, you know, I, I was a struggle running 800, and so 1500 is a little more my comfort zone. Um, yeah, I mean, it is, it is what it is. I, I won the race. I ran decently fast, you know, not super fast, uh, but that would be a sub four minute mile if you convert to the mile, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. Also, if you watch, if you compare 152 to now 341, 341, yeah. it's a very different level, right? Yeah, I think so. It's a, it's a, it's another step ahead. Um, so I think that you know every every race hopefully will get better and better. Um, and it was still a little bit a struggle, you know, the the first part. It still didn't feel totally comfortable. Um, but I'm just going through growing pains um, and. Yeah, like I said, I mean, anytime you cross the finish line first is usually good. How, how was your focus? It was good. It was good. Um, I was a little bit nervous, um, but I think that was good uh, to kind of get it out of the way. Um, I think it's going to give me some confidence. Um, and, yeah, I think my focus was good. I, uh, I was struggling a little bit in the middle parts, and I, I stayed in a good enough rhythm so that at the end I was able to, you know, close hard. Um, and yeah, I think that the, now I just need to do the same thing, but in a, you know, a faster race, you know, it's the, the formula is there. Before I can close fast in a race that's 330, I need to be able to close fast that's a race that's 342. So, you know, one step at a time. So. It's one step at a time, but when I talked to you uh, earlier this week, it was your eyes were normal, but now there's a big twinkle in it. <laughs> like I said, it feels it always feels good to cross the finish line first. And it's been a long time since I've done that. So um, this is my f the first time I've won a race in a while. <laughs> uh, did I win that race? Uh, I forget if I won my last race, but anyway, I won today and uh, in Belgium again, and Briscat was only, only only 10 minutes away, which is a nice city for me. So, it, I, when we were driving from uh, Hilversum, Netherlands, we drove right past Briscat, and I was like, "Oh, there's there's my the track or American record." So it was, it's uh this is a good region for me. Good memories bring good results. Good, good memories, good memories for sure. But after, like, like 10 minutes after that 1500 meter, uh, Alberto made you run a 5000 meters. How, how did that go? It was okay. It was okay. Um, it, uh, we had planned to, to do some kind of workout afterwards um, just because, you know, we want to race, but we're still, you know, building fitness, you know, and so we wanted to do something, some kind of workout. And I was like, well, we're gonna do, we were planning on doing a kind of tempo run type thing. And so it was perfect. You know, I got maybe 10 minutes rest or something. I don't know exactly. Um, and he just said run 70 second pace or so. Um, and we knew there would be a group trying to run about 14.30 and uh, just to run with those guys. And they went out a little bit faster than I thought. We were running like 68s, 69s. And so I just was running with them and I felt pretty good, and, and so I just kept on running 68s or so, give or take. And then, you know, the last 600 or so, I just picked it up. I, felt, I, I was, I started hurting a little bit the last mile, um, but uh, yeah, it was good. You know, it's a good. It's, it's, it was not easy, so, but um, you know, it's just I got to keep turning my legs over, and yeah, I mean, I, like I said before, like I mean, I knew. Even after the 800, I was like, I know I'm aerobically fit. It's just, you know, it's just the speed is the the thing that's lacking right now. And so, uh, and you, sometimes you can't rush that. You know, it's like I can, you can only do so much 200s, you know, or else your legs will be d killed. So we're trying to, you know, keep my strength, but add the speed in as much as we can. And so it's just going to take time. And there's only a few more races left. And so. 
I mean, I'm looking towards the future, and um, yeah, I feel good about it. You know, if I can improve in two weeks from 152 to 341, which is a big jump, I think. I see you are motivated because you were clocking it during the 5,000 meter race, and I think that last 200 meter you speeded even up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wanted to go fast at the end, you know. Um, but he didn't want me to go too hard, you know, like, because I'm doing another race, other races, so I, I couldn't go all out everything. But it was a good, hard tempo run, and then, you know, a fast 200 at the end. <laughs> And then one more 800 meter in Europe. Yeah, 800 in Padua, and then uh, 1500 in Milan. So I'm going to Italy uh, on Wednesday.